Today we are opening up the book of Psalms. Right after I graduated high school and went straight into army boot camp, this is one of the books that I read many times daily. See, John Corson says that for every sigh in life, there is a psalm to go with it. In Hebrew, it's called the Book of Praises. It's a book of praises and an instruction on how to praise. See, King David wrote the majority of psalms with 73 of them that we know of. Some of the other psalms include Moses, Hezekiah, Sons of Korah, Solomon, Asaph, and even one by He-Man. As we dive in to the first five books, we open with Psalm 1 and it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. You see, these two verses tell us not only what to do to be blessed, but what not to do. And I want you to see the digression that happens in verse 1. First, it says walk, then stands, then sits. We have to be so careful in our lives where we walk because that could eventually lead to stopping and standing and being distracted by the wrong things. Then we can find ourselves sitting with things that we have no business being a part of. You see, we need to always be careful with who and where we are walking, standing, and sitting. Next, it tells us what to do if we want to be blessed. Delight in God's law and meditate on it day and night. So you see, law here is referring to God's word and not only the laws of God. We are to read, know, and meditate on it. Okay, so I was raised on a cattle farm, so I can relate to that word meditate. To me, it's like when a cow chews its cud. What that means is a cow has one stomach and four separate compartments. Each area digests what the cow is eating in different ways. So a cow will eat grass, and then while resting, it will regurgitate that grass, then chew on it some more, and then swallow and do this over and over until it has digested it. It is said that a cow can chew up to 30,000 times in a day. So now, you're saying, what in the world does this have to do with meditating? We should be chewing on the cud of God's Word daily. We read it, write it down, read it again, and think on it. Allow it to pierce our hearts and minds. We should not just read it, but meditate on it. Hebrews 4.12, it says, The Word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. We need to be constantly allowing God to cut things out of our lives through His Word. If we do this, this is what Psalm 1 verse 3 tells us will happen. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves will never wither and they prosper in all they do.